name is Gleb and today I'm glad to announce a better release of PyTrace. Let's briefly talk about debugging. How do we usually debug code? So let's say we have some code here. I can put breakpoint and run debugger. From there I can step over into the next line or into code or out of the method. Yeah, I can then be trapped into debugger point so if I don't want to just disable this I can go out of this but how do we go back so in order to go back I need to restart entire debugging session and let's say I want to see what is the variable when iteration loop will be 9 so I need to click 9 times to just go see what happens there it may not be it may not look complex on this example but you can imagine your use case so and another issue is this that I need to constantly switch between running code and inspecting its state and there is no way to see what's input and output of method where so yeah I don't know what return from run so it's just not very usable so is there a better way oh yeah it is so this is what PyTrace is for so in order to use it, so PyTrace allows to record execution and allows you to analyze it later. So in order to do this, I just put trace attribute in there and import it from PyCrunchTrace. So you can install package using following command pip install PyCrunchTrace. I already have this installed, so I can use my code. So and when I run my code, it generates trace session. So over there that I can use later for analysis so and you open up on site you drag and drop files there and you will be presented with a very similar interface it will look as debugger so you can see I'm pressing arrow down button or arrow up button and I can go back and forth so I can also opt into stepping into method and see what is returned from it so anytime I can press shift down to go when the execution of this method is called so let's go to a more complex example I have it here drag and drop it to surface it will take time to load and in current example I have some requests code re requests package that it calling Google with get and I'm stepping into method and you can see it takes a lot of event to be completed and I can see my status code and actually I cannot see content but it's not very relevant so and the good way to navigate is graph so I press G and here are everything that got executed so I can scope to this method like using and holding command and clicking on a graph so let's say I want to see what's going there holding command and clicking on a graph so I can do this in the infinite time until I come to the end of call stack so I can go to this method and see what is passed what is going on in this method and what is returned so currently I am getting lost so I can command or control on Windows click here I can see that my middle my execution point is in the middle of event so I can yeah, let's go to the start So another way to navigate is you can sh hold shift and also click on a graph so you can go back straight to the end of the method. So I'm going back to my previous recording that we did. Uh, yeah, you can see our function calls. How many times it calls so I can sh hold shift and click and it will bring me to the return shift click also return so yeah 
Bis bald, Grace.